Lakes Nature Love, and we're here with John. He's gonna do some grafting for us and arching the mangoes. Another variety to this other variety. These are seedlings, volunteer seedlings. Oh, right here, yeah, these are the seedlings. How old are they, about a year? Yeah. So, tell us what you're... Right now I'm trimming the leaves, just so I can get access to it to do the grafting. And uh, yeah, don't cut towards yourself, that's about it. Cut this into a wedge and stick yeah, it up. I'll go ahead and do that. I think I like uh, right here. So again, try to keep your cut straight. See the, it's straight. That's less straight. I'll straighten it out. I'm rocking it back and forth so I can control the depth of cut without cutting my finger or my hand. So one time, I guess, break this rule about don't cutting towards yourself. Sometimes in grafting, I think you have to cut towards yourself. I don't know. I do. So that's going to fit in there like oh, that. That's nice. I'm going to cut this leaf out of the way. Get some rubber bands to tie it together. Do you like the thicker rubber bands so they don't I, grow I, the tree? I do like a... Well, I like a thick rubber band for this because with, with when you're grafting with this much wood, especially with it, with the wood that's this thick, and especially with it getting torqued as much as it might, in the wind mm -hmm. um you do need more you know more mechanical binding mm -hmm. than you normally would but the beauty of this graft especially this far north is we only have a brief period of time in the summer when it's really warm at night that's really prime time mango grafting um so we can do a lot of out of season grafting when it gets cool at night that's because good it gives extra time for it to heal yeah, for it to grow together. Okay, yeah, that's going to do really well. I'm going to tie these together okay. before I do it. Let's see if I can do this from this side. The way I like to wrap the rubber bands, I leave a little tab here mm -hmm. and then come and catch it. And then I can hold it with this hand and catch, you know, come around again. Hmm. So I like to do it. I'm going to line it up over here because I can see it better. Yeah, all right, that looks good. Oh, it's slipping out. So the goal is to try to keep one side of the cambium layer contact. Yeah, it's got to touch good on one side, and the other side will grow to it. It's. it's you have to have at least one side. It's better to have both sides connected, but if you can do it, it at least one side, you got it. Yeah. This is one of those things where if you had three hands, it would help. It really would. But, or um, four. You can do it, especially if you practice. Okay. Come on. Don't argue with me. Um, so wrapped it with rubber band, wrapped it with parafilm, and now I'm going to reinforce this because we do get a lot of thunderstorms this time of year. So I like to figure eight the string in and out, in and out, and that way it, it's not really girdling. And it, it gets better grip. 
this just reinforces and th this particular weaving maybe you would call it is good when you're doing pruning and training if you have to put a lot of torque on a narrow angle of branches and you don't want it to split you can reinforce it like this and bend it and so then I just need to tie this off and so that really really can't split now. so if we if we had a good stake I'll, I'll probably come back with some nice six foot fiberglass stakes and put a stake here and tie the whole thing to it and I just don't have them on me cool right, that, that'll keep it stable for a couple months until that union's good and healed let's do another one yeah. this is a perfect stage to graft it because it's vigorously growing that's even a, a little bit better than the other one although they were both in the good stage both growth stage that's yeah. good to know i'm just gonna actually pretty good i think i think i'll put it into the succulent part i'm just gonna do a cleft graft uh -huh. eh, i might do a side way so let me see how do i feel feel pretty good about this side wedge. Keep your wrist locked. I like to do a slicing motion. That's good. See, it's pretty straight, not curved or gougy. And then when you stick that together, see the side oh, yeah. wedge, the cambium matches up pretty much mm -hmm. all along. I like side wedge mapping. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of success doing that. You can do a simple cleft. It's probably just about as good. I did that with the pawpaws and the persimmons. Yeah. So I'm going to have to put some little name tags on these so I remember which is what. I was going to give you my yellow tag. Oh, okay. But it's not going to last long. Right. 